Welcome to the ACS Virtual Career Fair demonstration video. We're thrilled to have you participating as an exhibitor at this dynamic event and wanted to provide this video to you to help you prepare and give you an overview of how to navigate around and make the most of this awesome opportunity to network with candidates from around the world. You'll notice first and foremost that there's a top navigation bar that you can utilize at any point during the day to access different parts of the event. So wherever you're at, you'll be able to use this to move to different areas. One of the things up in the navigation bar that you'll find interesting is the profile. Here, you'll be able to access your own profile and be able to change and edit the information that candidates can see about you. So if you want to do that, you just simply click on profile at any time during the day. You'll be able to edit your information and then be sure to click save changes to return to a landing page. You'll notice on this landing page that you can access a variety of the major parts of the event. So you can access the resource center, the networking lounge, the auditorium, and the employer booths. Now the employer booths are going to be where most people spend the majority of their time. And this is how you and candidates can find your booth. We will have a series of different directories that are broken down into subcategories so that candidates can easily categorize and find the companies they're looking for. Each directory will be alphabetical, so you should also be able to find your company relatively easy. You will simply hover over your booth and click on it to be able to enter into your own booth. This is also how candidates will be able to access your booth. Once inside the booth, if you have a video loaded into your, to your uh, exhibit booth, a video will Hello. play first. I'm Madeline Jacobs. This allows people to be welcomed into your booth right away in a very multimedia format. So again, if you've loaded a video into your booth, it'll play here first. Once a candidate closes out of this video, or if you don't have a video, they will enter right into a group chat. This large group chat will open up here, and then you as an exhibitor will be able to see which candidates have entered into your booth by clicking on guests. This guest queue will fill up with candidates who are interested in talking to you about opportunities at your organization. We would re well recommend that you use the group chat to welcome candidates in as they enter into your booth. You'll want to use the group chat to your advantage because the candidates will often come in and be very interested in talking to you immediately about specific positions. We would recommend that you use the group chat to handle general questions that come in from the candidates and also to direct them to the content tab. This will allow you more time to look at their candidate profiles and determine which particular candidates you want to speak with. Your content tab will be over here and will be loaded with different information put in by your booth administrator during the, the booth building process. It's important for everyone within the booth that's staffing to understand what content is loaded into your booth. These can be documents, links, videos, and job postings. So it's well worthwhile to make sure you're aware of what information is in here so you can direct the candidates here. The more information that's here for the candidates to review, the more time that you'll have to be able to review their profiles as they come into the booth. So let's take a look at how that would work. As the candidate is reviewing the different content you've included, we're able to look at their profile and determine if this is somebody we want to speak with more. So I can see content information, a personal message, access to their careers profile, and more. They'll provide a different information during the registration process and uploaded a resume. So you'd be able to access that resume or CV from this area. You can download it this time. You can do it with, with, with it what you wish. And then you can determine how you want to communicate with this candidate. So I can either add them to my buddy list for future reference. I can send them a virtual business card. These virtual business cards are created automatically uh, when you register for the event. So you'd be able to send them basic contact information. You can send them an email within the event or most importantly you can start a live chat with them. So what will happen during the live chat process is I have sent a, re a request to one of the candidates to have a live one-to-one -one chat with them. Okay. So then from there I wait for that candidate to accept. Once they accept we can chat in this area here. Please note that this chat is webcam enabled and we'd be able to utilize this by saying click send feed 
and then we'd be able to show our webcam if we have one available. If the candidate has a, web, a webcam, they can also utilize this to be able to send their feed and be able to speak face to face. This is not required, but it is available to you if you're interested. So once the, the candidate accepts my chat, we can chat back and forth in real time in a private chat separate from the group chat. It's worth noting that the conversation we have, if it's text-based, will be recorded for us. There is no recording for the webcam conversations, but all the text that you enter into the group chat and the private chats will be saved for you. And this can be accessed throughout the day in the communication center. So we do encourage you at all times to be able to go in here and look at the previous chats that you had. And you'd actually be able to look at specific chats that you previously had through the transcript. This allows you to not have to take down notes for every single conversation you have and to be able to look at the chats and the content therein throughout the day as well as after the event. This also acts as an email inbox where you can look at all the different emails you've sent and received. You can also access different virtual business cards you've sent and received as well as your buddy list in the communication center. So we hope this is a useful tool for you to be able to uh, record the information that you've sent and received with the different candidates you talk to at the event. Now please note the candidate while you're looking at the guest tab of queue of people coming into your booth, the candidate can look at the different staffers staffing the booth. So as we can see here, uh, you, they can see which staffers are currently working in that booth and they can then look at your profile and then be able to determine if they want to send you an email or start a chat with you. So this is a two-way street with communications and you will receive chat requests throughout the day as well as emails. A yellow notification box will drop down from the top to let you know if you have a chat. At this time you can either accept that chat or you can decide to decline it. If you decline that chat we do recommend that you leave a message. So you can actually include a message as to why you're declining that chat. And that might be a nice feature to be able to include if you can't always accept chats with the candidates that come into your booth. Now as I mentioned you'll be able to utilize these different buttons at the top to navigate to different parts of the event. Now for the most part these different areas of the event are geared towards the candidates but it's so worthwhile for you to understand what these different aspects bring to the table. We will be able to include an auditorium which will have different, different presentations for candidates to view. There's also going to be a networking lounge which will be a very dynamic part of the event where the candidates can communicate with one another, share information, and be able to log into their social media suite to be able to integrate with social media at the event. We do encourage the recruiters and the exhibitors to visit the networking lounge as well as this is a dynamic part of the event where everyone can share information and talk with one another. Uh, so we do encourage you to spend some time here if you have time. The Resource Center is another area that candidates will be able to access with pertinent information for them and their job seeking process uh, and some, some other great information about ACS. So these are good areas for you to know about so that you can drive traffic there and answer questions if it comes up.